Welcome back, and welcome to author Nadine Haruni, who is here to tell us about her new book series, Frida the Frog. So I'm excited to meet Frida and find out what the inspiration was behind this book series. So let's start there. What was your inspiration? Thank you. Nice. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. So the inspiration for the series was that I myself went through all of the situations that Frida and her family goes through. And I felt that there were not a lot of books out there that were kind of written in, at a kid's level that opened up these topics in a non-scary way. So as I went through kind of each stage of life and situation with my own family, I got motivated to get the different Frida books out there. So the stories follow along a frog family as she and her family go through different some are real life, I would say, issues, so to speak, and some are just real life things that a lot of families go through and they don't know how to talk about. Well, and we have so many blended families in our society and so many different you know, things that we're trying to be inclusive now and talk about diversity and those things. So tell us a little bit about your story. You mentioned it a second ago that you are in a blended family. So how are you similar to Frida and her new blue family? So Frida, I just will show you the cover of the book. So Frida um, meets her own blue frog. <laughs> and I um, met my husband who's a different ethnicity. And he had three girls and I had two kids. And my kids were, they, they looked a little different on the outside. My, my kids are fair skin, blonde, blue eyed. My stepdaughters are darker skin, dark hair, dark eyed. So it wasn't necessarily that people would look at us and say that we look like the traditional Brady Bunch family, so to speak. Right. And um, it kind of made me more aware that there are a lot of families, colorful families that look like us. And we just need to remind kids that who are in, let's say, other families, that there are all different types of families out there. Well, and of course, the big message and the takeaway is that it's really what's important on the inside, obviously, much more so than what you look like on the outside. So expand exactly. on that message a little bit. So, yeah. Um, it's obviously kids, you know, are very impressionable at a young age, and that's why I'm hoping that these the parents and teachers and school psychologists can reach these kids at a young age to just remind them to not judge in a negative way what somebody looks like from the outside if they look different than them. Right. So that is the message that Frida tries to impart to the tadpoles when they talk about the fact that they never met a blue frog before a blue tadpole. He doesn't look like us. And... Basically, Frida says frogs are frogs. It doesn't matter what they look like on the outside. All that matters is what's on the inside. And so touch a little bit about why you decided to do this age group. You just mentioned, obviously, young kids are very impressionable and we want to get to them early. So you decided to kind of go to the toddler-ish age group instead of to older kids. Why did you do that? Yes. Um, well, my kids actually at the time were in the young age. It's toddler and also like a little, maybe a little bit older elementary school kids. And I felt it's really at this age, kids kind of come with like a blank slate. They have really have no negative um, ideas or, or stereotype in their head about what people look like. And I felt that if you can reach them at a young age, then as they're older, they won't continue these negative stereotypes as they get older by by seeing someone that looks different and thinking badly of them. Right. So we've got about 30 seconds left and we know that we are now very much in a virtual world. Can we find Frida digitally? Absolutely. I'm doing lots of virtual story time events. You can find me on social media. It's at Frida the Frog. That's F-R-E-E-D-A the Frog and FridaTheFrog.com. I have all updates about my events and books. So thank you. Thank you so much for being with us, Nadine, and make sure you're checking out Frida the Frog. Thank you. Much more to come. Don't go away.